welcome back in another video of uh, redux and this video is going to be the continuation of the previous one uh, where we left off in fact we had designed a form and we grabbed the data uh, form data and we actually logged it onto the console like this if we enter anything right here and this description so that's going to be logged right over here so uh, before moving ahead, let me uh, clear out these two warnings. Actually, this warning is invalid DOM property, which is HTML4, and the second one is for the class. We know that we can't give the class with, because this class is the keyword of the JavaScript. So let's find all the classes right over here and replace them with the class name like this. So eight occurrences are already there. So I have actually replaced all of them with the name so let's go ahead and check if the first one is gone yes and the second now html4 is left so let's go ahead and uh, clear that too because this is most probably right inside the label so this is what the for is also a keyword so instead of for let's replace it with html and for with the camel case same is with the second label like this so our uh, second warning should also go away so if i refresh it so now our console is very clean now let's move ahead and make an object in fact out of the data that we received uh, uh, right inside this function of handle submit so what we are doing is in fact we do have the title and the description and our state that is uh, that it needs to be go uh, that needs to be sent to the uh, redux should have these three properties title and description so we do have title and description but we need an id so let's quickly make an id first and in fact let's prepare the object so let's const uh, new to do and that's going to be an object inside that object the first property is going to be an id and that is going to be math dot random there are a couple of packages as well that actually help you create the random id but for now i'm just going to do this and just to avoid the id with the point let me do it multiply it with 100 and just place it inside the floor function which is also inbuilt in javascript so this is pretty much the id which will be, which, which will be uh, generated randomly on every submit and then the second property that needs uh, that we need is title and for that we do have the title inside the local state right over here and then the third one is the description so we do also have the description in the local state so the key name is description and the value is this description which is currently residing inside the local state so instead of now only console log these title and description let us console this time this entire object so if we go back and see what's going on with this i think this floor is not defined so it's not only floor rather it's math.floor so that's pretty much like this so if i now go to test title and then test description so that should be the in the complete object that we got it out of here id is 21 title is this and description is this so the next step is just we have to send this object to the global state which is the redux and how we do that we know that we have to dispatch an action like that so this time we just have to call the dispatch action which we just in fact uh, imported and used right over here so let's just use this dispatch and we know that this dispatch expects an object and that object has two properties number one is the type of the action and that is um, that is the same one we used over here at to do and the second property is the payload and this time this payload is not going to be the hard-coded rather this new object is going to be the payload that is going to be stored into the redux state so with this thing pretty much done what now we have to do is just to check whether it is working or not so let me open up the console in fact not console rather the redux state or the dev tool so inside here as we can see there is no action for now and the current existing state is counters value is 10 
and uh, though we are not using we are no more using counter but still that resides inside the redux so if we now look at that we do have those four default hard coded values in our initial state now when we going to do add something like test title and then test description and if we hit the save button that's all the way in fact we have this pattern action which is add to do and this action caused this state to be updated like it has added another additional object with uh, an id of 75 and this is being randomly generated and then the title test title and the description test description so this is what actually the data that we have provided through form is successfully going to this redux state after this add to do action being dispatched right from our form so that's the complete cycle of a single operation we have just uh, uh, in fact successfully added uh, to do to the redux state so in the next video we will be talking about how can we delete edit and update the to do's from the redux state so that's it as of now thank you for watching stay tuned for the for the upcoming videos